What's going on guys, Skits here back with another quick guide with the brand new OBS Studio. Today we're gonna set up your stream labels off Twitch Alerts. So if we go to twitchalerts.com, we're gonna launch our Twitch Alerts and then we're gonna go down here to stream labels. So what are stream labels? So pretty much, I'll read this to you. Stream Labels is a Chrome app that runs on your computer and it updates a set of files that you can include into your stream as text or even as scrolling text. So for example, uh, I'll give you what I have on my stream, just a basic example to uh, get you guys going and off the ground and running in the quickest way possible. I just have my recent follower, my recent uh, donator, and then my all-time top donator. So once you hook these up, off the Google, um, the Chrome app, the add-on uh, stream labels from Twitch Alerts. Every time somebody donates or follows or you get a new all-time donator or you can customize this in uh, a bunch of different ways, it's gonna update in real time so you don't have to uh, do it yourself. So it's really, really awesome. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it now. So what you see right now on the brand new OBS Studio is my overlay, my webcam, and just a basic game scene, uh, which is World of Warcraft. If you don't know how to set that up or you want to get to this point uh, right now, I'll put the video in the top right hand corner. You can click on that. But let's just get started. So when we go back to Twitch Alerts, um, let's go from the beginning. So TwitchAlerts.com, we're going to launch uh, Twitch Alerts and then we're going to go down here to our stream labels. I already have it downloaded, but we're going to walk through it now. So we're just going to download the add-on, the Chrome add-on, download stream labels. And since I already have it downloaded, I'm just going to launch it. You'll go through this. You're going to pick a directory where you want to store your files. Anywhere is, is awesome. You'll be able to find them. Just label them Twitch Alerts or whatever. And then all you're going to do is just launch the app. So let's just minimize this. As you can see here, it has my recent followers, donations, all that kind of good stuff. And these are the options, right? You can log out and log back in, uh, restart your session, which every time you go live, you're going to want to just restart the session and it's going to tell stream labels to um, to start fresh um, at this current point so you're going to have a bunch of different streams and after you cancel that uh, it's very important that every time you start a new stream just restart your session uh, with that being said let's just go through how to basically do this so once this is downloaded uh, just going to exit it out uh, make sure it's running so just start you can click on your twitch alert stream labels and it's in the background so let's just minimize that and let's go back to our obs studio so all we're going to do here is we're going to add a text so you can either right click here and go to add or you can just click on the plus button we're going to add our text i already added existing ones i've already done this i'm just going to de i deleted them so i'm going to uh, start this from the from the ground up just to show you guys what's going on so let's do our recent follower first uh, let's just name it something else recent follower skits and we're gonna go to okay so as you can see here this text is just stock text that they have we're, we're gonna get rid of that so we're going to first I'm gonna give you my personal preference it's gonna make your stream look awesome excuse me we're gonna go to select font I like to scroll down to this one right here called Corbell, and we are going to click OK. This text, we don't want this. We are going to read this from the file. So we're going to check that, and then we're just going to tell um, OBS Studio where to pull this file from. So the text file, we're going to browse through here. As you can see here, we're just going to search for Twitch Alerts. Uh, let's go back here to our desktop where we have it. So desktop and search for twitch alerts the actual folder perfect we're going to open that up and as you can see here guys this is everything you can choose from the text documents from 30 day donation amount donation goal monthly top donator the most recent but just for this video purpose we're just going to do our most recent follower so we're just going to double click that as you can see here our recent follower was PM3RK, whatever that is, and this is just showing you that this is working now. So I'm going to change that. The font's changed. It's reading it from a file now. And the last thing I like to do is outline because it makes your stream, the, the text look, I'm not sure the difference from uh, OBS Classic to the new OBS Studio, but uh, I tweaked it and I messed around with it for a little bit and 
this, this gives you the best results. So we're also gonna select a different color. Let's just do uh, green. We'll go OK and click OK. And as you can see here, boom. We're done, guys. And all you're gonna do is rinse and repeat and do that over and over again for as many stream labels as you want. Let's do one more. Um, and I'll show you guys, we'll walk through this one more time. So let's just go to add, again, text. Let's do recent donator skits, click OK. And then again, we're gonna just change the font. Let's go down to Corbell, perfect, click OK. We are going to read this from a file again. We are going to tell OBS Studio what file this is coming from. So we're just going to scroll down. We'll find our most recent donator. Double, oh, that's weekly, excuse me. Most recent donator, double click. We are going to, again, we're going to outline it and we're going to just simply change the color. Let's make this red. Click OK and OK. And boom, guys, there you have it. You can click this. Um, you can edit it, drag it, make it big, small, put it wherever you want. But once you have this set up and your stream labels is running, every time somebody follows your stream or donates to the stream or whatever you hook up for your stream labels, it's going to update automatically. It's going to set you guys up. I hope this video helped for the brand new OBS studio. If it did, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. If you have any other questions about this, don't hesitate to put them in the comments below. I will answer them as quickly and as efficiently as possible. Uh, with that being said, I know there's a lot of weird stuff going on with the new OBS studio. I will help you guys out as best as I can. I will see you guys later. Happy gaming, guys. Peace.